So James here at Franklin Military Academy. We're now putting the last touches to the mural that was done almost, uh, or started almost uh, two years ago. It's been a long time because the kids that were originally assigned to work on the project, uh, the grades was falling so they took them off. So that left me to create this project on my own, 95% of it at least. This is actually a visible timeline of Civil War, post-Civil War, World War One, World War Two, at Franklin Military Academy. This is one of the officers here. How are you, sir? Great. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thank you. I'm what trying are you trying to get out of your way? And you put me on camera. <laughs> Not a problem. What do you think about the uh, mural so far? Actually, it's very good. I was just telling your assistant over there that it's really impressive. We had the um, the reenactors from um, St. John Church. Wow. So they did Give Me Liberty, Give Me a Death Speech. Uh -huh. They came over and they stood in front of the, um, down at the beginning of the Christmas Act. Wow. Had the fist up like, you know. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. Really good. So we got some pictures that I have to give it to you. Awesome. I, I, I like to get that. I like to get that. Can you, can you kind of explain um, to us all these scenes? Um, you got a minute? Uh, actually, I'm going to see the principal. Okay, I think he's trying to get out of it, y'all. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. All right, I'm going to see right. Good to see you, man. Have a new year. Okay. So, back to the, the tour here. Um, I think I can explain it to you guys. Here is uh, Crispus Attucks, and he was one of the first um, slaves or African Americans to die during the Civil War. And you see the city in the background. I kind of pushed it in as much as possible. Actually, I didn't have any uniform references except for the black and white. So pretty much most of it is kind of made up. Some of it I could research in Google. Here is Patrick Henry, and that's the flag, um, I mean the church, where he made the famous speech, give me liberty, give me death. Okay. Now here's a lady who supposedly, according to our history, created the American flag. And the interesting thing about this is that the flag itself, we've made so that it would travel throughout the entire portion of the mural. And uh, here's George Washington crossing the Delaware. You see where we go into the cold part, the snow, and the water, we make the Delaware. This is Michon, one of my art students. Um, thank you for helping me out here. You're I had to bring in a crew to get this thing done, so I, I, I brought in the best, right? <laughs> okay. I'll do my best. Uh, I believe you will. Thank you so much. And um, this is Sally Hemmons, and she had something to do with the signing of uh, this whole treaty. But um, I'm not sure, but you can Google it anyway. Um, so here's more of the flag. Okay, and here is going to be calligraphy explaining the whole visual timeline. We're in the hallway of the Franklin Military Academy. Now, surprise, there's much, much more. Now, all these characters here are a part of this whole war scene. Um, these are diplomats or presidents from all over the country. You got Islam make one here and, 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 and all the medals and things, man, that kind of had to push in. My first experience with doing this kind of stuff. So I had fun, you know, I had fun. I had to come in real quick and get it done and, and, and make up some stuff. Um, and uh, I learned a whole lot from it. This is actually my second mural, but all in all, it's the largest one that I did on my own. 95% of it. So, um, I had fun. Now, you see on the table right here, these are the war machines. You got the Sherman tank, you got an airplane, you got the machine gun, and you got a sub. So, I had to figure out how can I get these items in there without making larger a larger mural. So, we reduced it and put it on the actual table. Okay, this is um, the American side. The guys that all these guys were kind of let go inside. Um, I think this is Roosevelt reading this paper. And uh, well, you can look at the flags and tell the countries. I couldn't tell you much more about that, but um, this is.
this is essentially what we got here. Uh, A lot of work, a lot of work. I think next time I'm going to get a guarantee that I'm going to have help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now, don't go yet. It's a little bit more here to see. Okay, this is the final part of it. These are, uh, I think this is, this is one of those world wars. I think this is two. But anyway, this is, um, this is the American powers here. Churchill, Roosevelt. I think that's Stalling, one of those guys. Uh, so, still working on that now. We're gonna try to get this finished today or even tomorrow. Churchill, got this cigar in his hand. Now this is the other side, this is Hitler. Adolf. And that's um, Mao Saint Tong. Don't quote me on that, y'all. I'm not that good with my history. Anyway, we got the rest of that flag to finish up. And then we're all, we're all done. So, this is Sir James at Franklin Military Academy. How are you? Wow, Military Academy. So we have our mural team together now. We're looking forward to bringing you much more of our information. Hold on for a minute. I want you to get. A, I want you to see me in my work outfit. Michonne, can you hold that for a minute? Uh, sure. Is it good this way? Can you turn it that way? All right. Okay. Hello. How are you guys? This okay. is. Yeah. Okay. Good day. Good day. Good day. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no fools, no fun. Okay, Sir James here and Miss Sean signing off. Bye. Peace. Goodbye. <laughs> what? Are you still? No, I'm done. <laughs>